Good evening. Good evening, Pastor Sophie, Pastor Israel. Good evening. Pastor Daniel, Pastor Destiny, God bless you. Good evening. Greetings, sir. Greetings, Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma. One for collecting it. God bless you. Can you hear us? Pastor Daniel, good, good evening, Pastor. Uh, good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, good evening ma'am. Ma yeah. Uh, we bless God again for uh, today. Today is another day. Today is the third day for prayers, interdenominational prayers for the body of Christ. Uh, standing as one, um, one in Christ, uh, interceding for uh, spells, for the nations and the body of Christ, um, waiting on God and standing in gap, allowing God to use us as vessels to reach out to ourselves, to be portals where the Spirit of God is going to enter through us, from God through us, and use our verses to reach out to the nations of the world. Use our verses to reach out to the body of Christ, and use our verses collectively to reach out to ourselves. And the Bible says, we don't know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit of God prays in groaning in word that cannot be altered uh, to pray the will of God for us. And the will of God is what is in so that we don't pray amiss. So, and prayer means partly permission to in every interference through portals, through gates, through all of us. So um, uh, we have to raise our voice in our uh, and uh, places 
So we should read together Jeremiah chapter 1 from verse 17 to 19. We should read it together. Please, uh, viewers, please help us to share this live video on your wall so that more people can be engaged with this. So to share it to groups, uh, pages, so that it's not a traditional prayers, it's prayers for the world. Every part of the world. So let's... Jeremiah chapter 1, yes, verse 17 to 19. So can we read it together? If you are doing what is also read along together with us, wherever you may be. Thou, Jeremiah chapter Psalm 1, verse 17. 17. Thou therefore gird up thy loans and arise and speak them all that I hope. Be not good lest I confound thee before them. For behold, I have made thee a defense. And an iron pillar and the brazen walls against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, against the princes thereof, against the priests and against the people of the land. And they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee, the Lord, to deliver thee. You didn't get what you were saying. Can we Can you hear now? Can you hear? Can you hear us? It is is breaking. Okay. The network is breaking. Ah, uh, okay. We can read again. Can we read together again? Jeremiah chapter one from verse seventeen to uh, nineteen. Uh, let's start from 16 to 19. Jeremiah chapter 1 from 16 to 19. 15 to 19. Let's read together. If you are connecting with us, please let's read together also. Jeremiah chapter 1 from verse 16 to 19. Let's read. And I will alter my judgment against them, touching all their wickedness who have forsaken me and have burned incense unto other gods. And worship the works of their own hands. Thou therefore guide up thy loins and arise and speak unto them all that I command thee. Be not dismayed at their faces, lest I confound thee before them. For behold, I have made thee this day a defense city and an iron pillar. 
and the brands and wars and against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, against the princes thereof, against the priests thereof, and against the people of the land. They shall fight against thee, but they shall not be against thee. For I am this to the people of Jesus. The word that God gave us. So let's uh, start with the worship songs and from there we enter into the business of the Father for today. Amen. So can we have a song? The Savior, my soul. Savior of my soul. Uh, Pastor Daniel, please, uh, because you have the keyboard on your side, can you take up the worship so that we follow? Pastor Destiny, can you take up the worship so, for us? So that, uh, which are, which are which? Yes, can you take us the worship for us take so that the they worship. take over the worship so that uh this you have, can play the keyboard for us? Do you have any worship song on in mind you would want me to take? Yo, yo, yo. I say that immortality again. All right. Amen. Oh, the one about Holy Spirit uh, on, on, on your wings. On your wings. Father of life, holy wise God, no flesh can approach your race. Only the lanes we stand before your throne. Immortality in love. Immortality in love. Pastor Destiny. He who dwells in the realm of light, Father of light, the holy wise stone, no flesh can approach your realm. Only the land we stand before your throne. He who dwells in the realm of love, Father of lands, the holy wise God. No flesh can approach your realm. Only the Lamb. We stand before your throne. Immortality in light. Immortality in 
Immortality, 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 immortality,
Starting, we are going into the body of the prayers right now, and um, I think we're going to start from the end to the beginning. We're going to start from uh, the body of Christ. Okay, let's start from the mission. While we're praying early today, uh, or give us directions. So every time we're going to do these prayers, uh, we cannot handle everything. We cannot just pray, be praying for nations just like that. So uh, we have to pray for direction to know this particular nation out of all the nations of the world. We pray for a time. So uh, Today, the Spirit of God led us to the uh, continent of East Asia. And so we are to start praying in tongues for the seekers, seekers of Christ. God wants to use us to uh, shine His light in the continent of Asia. The, the light of God is visiting Asia. Of the manifestation. Yes. And this light is. Uh, so we have to pray in tongues. So we have to start from nations. So let's start praying in tongues. Can you hear us now? Thank you. Increase the volume a little bit. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Amen. Can you hear us? Okay. She said better. Amen. Can you hear? Okay. Okay. So. Yeah. Yeah. While we're praying early this morning, God led us to 
um, to be narrowing our prayers because we cannot uh, pray just for the whole continent of the whole nations. Uh, we have to ask for directions to know the mind of Christ, what a particular nation or continent you want us to pray for. So maybe the next one also it will pick a particular nation or particular continent. So when we're praying this morning, the Spirit of God led us to the continent of Asia, that he wants to shine his light upon Asia, and he wants uh, to bring out the seekers of the light, and we know that light is Christ. So I uh, go on to um, start engaging the continent of Asia to come into Christ. So let's start praying in tongues and make sure you make yourself available. Please let us share, help us share this uh, broadcast to groups, to pages, so that I can reach uh, people around the world. Because you don't have network to where you have network to. You're, you don't have all your uh, friends you have on your list. So uh, let's just make ourselves available. Let's be network uh, together for Christ. So let's start praying for the continent of Asia. We don't know the particular country or the nation in the continent of Asia I want to start with. But let's start praying in tongues, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, we pray for seekers of light. We pray that you let your light shine upon Asia in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, let your light shine upon the continent of Asia in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like a shadow, the manifestation of your light, you will ask for Christ to take back of the continent of Asia in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let your light shine in the light shine in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord. We pray for the sick house of the Lord. Just like that, Jeremiah 176. Oh Lord, we are rest. 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 Oh Lord,
Hallelujah. Amen. I was just trying to ask my husband something because of what I I heard, because of what was coming. I don't really know which um, particular, uh, which area in Asia. This is what the Spirit of God is saying, that there is this particular area, whether in community, in nation, in, in, in states, in Asia, that they are about to impound the, the visitations of the Lord. The way the Holy Ghost said it, he said, impound. That, that was what I was trying to confirm from my husband, that they're about to impound the, impound, they're about to make a decree that we hinder the manifestation, the expression of the Lord in that city. Mm. So the Holy Ghost said we should intercede. Okay. We should intercede. There is actually, there is actually a, a decree that is about to be made mm. in a particular area or nation. or nation in Asia. And the decree has to do with the gospel of with the gospel of our Lord Jesus not finding expression in that nation, in that country. So the Holy Spirit said we should intercede. The way I actually heard the word coming, we should intercede that the Lord will find expression in that nation, in that particular nation. I didn't really get the exact place, but what I kept on hearing in my spirit is that there is a decree that is about to be made to, to impound the gospel of Jesus Christ. And one thing Jesus said is that this very gospel of the kingdom must be preached in all over the nations before the end come. So the Spirit is saying we should intercede. We don't know that nation, but the Holy Ghost, one thing about intercession is that when you intercede, the Holy Ghost reveals the secret things that you know nothing about, you don't even know anything, the Holy Ghost will reveal it. So the Holy Ghost will want us to intercede and, and scatter that decree, that that decree will not stand. Because the Bible said, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the word and dead that dwell therein. So we are going to intercede concerning, we don't know the particular aspect, but when we pray in the spirits, we speak ministry, we address things, we are going to intercede. We are going to intercede that that decree will not stand. Amen. The Bible says, who have said it and it comes to pass mm. when the Lord have not said it. Yes. And who have commanded it and it comes to pass when the Lord is not mm. the one that made the command. Mm. Yeah. So we are going to make a decree and say that cancer will not stand. Nothing will hinder the gospel of God from finding expression in that particular country in Asia. In Amen. the name of Jesus. Okay. 
We are making a decree that that cancer will not stand. Amen. We nullify that decree. That mm. decree that is that is being taking place in the secret. We are mm. saying mm. it will not stand. It will not stand. Our Father, we stand in the gap concerning that particular country in Asia that is about to erase anything called the gospel of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, we said that decree will not stand. Before it comes to light, before it comes to manifestation, we have got that decree, we have got that cancel. In the name of Jesus, we must Shadaya, <laughs> We <laughs> Every evil on in that country in Asia, every evil on that wants to stand against the bond of salvation, to get over the hand of the pregnant Writing in the name of Jesus, Christ, Lord, we remove all the 
We say it will not be established because the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. The earth is the Lord, the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. So therefore, we decree that that thing will not stand, that cancer will not stand, that which is about to be paid it shall not be written. It shall not be written. We cancel it and we nullify it and we rise that which is the counsel of God that the will of God will be done. We legislate it and we enforce it. We legislate it and we enforce it. The will of God will be done, O oh God. Amen. Uh, Pastor Daniel. Yes, uh take from you very well. I don't know if you can increase the volume of your device. Can you hear us? No, I didn't get you. Yeah, we can't hear you properly, sir. Can you increase the volume of your device? Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, I'm being led that you should handle uh, the work for the body of Christ, sir. The body of Christ. Yes. yes. The one uh, with the direction okay. that came early today. Psalm 24. Okay. Uh, so Ephesians 4.22 and 2 Corinthians 4. One, two, okay. Um, we want to pray for the body of Christ. Yes. Amen. Is that okay. 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 Um, specifically, um, based on some of the instructions that came uh, during the prayer session earlier on, uh, we need to pray uh, for the body of Christ, mm. that uh, the Lord is going to show mercy, that there's going to be the gradual unveiling of the face of the Lord to the church, to Amen. the body of Christ. Amen. There's going to be a gradual unveiling, the gradual revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Um, what gave birth to us is Christ. And what we need to learn, what we need to know about in the local assembly is to know about Christ, nothing else. The Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the fruit, and the life. He said, no one cometh to the Father but by me. That's what Christ said. He now said, learn of me. So we need to pray 
for the body of Christ that there is going to be the gradual unveiling of the face of our Lord Jesus Christ to his body. Amen. In 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 4, the Bible says, uh, I want us to look at that scripture, 2 Corinthians chapter 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, I, I read verse 3. And four. But if the gospel, Second Corinthians chapter four, verse three and four. But if our gospel is hid, mm. it is hid to them that are lost. Mm. Please take note: the lost are not those that are not born again. The lost are those that are born again that have not yet found their Lord. Mm. They are born again. They need to find their Lord. Mm. They are the lost. Mm. Those that are not born again are the dead. Mm. They call them the dead. Mm. But those that are born again that have not found their Lord, they, they are called the lost. Jesus said, um, if I have uh, 99 sheep and one is missing, I will leave the 99 and go search for the one that is missing. Mm -hmm. So the lost are members of the sheep that have not found their sheepfold. They have not found the shepherd who is the Lord Jesus Christ. So he said here, if our gospel be hid, it is he to them that are lost. Again, lost. <laughs> it is he to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world had blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ. Please take note of that. Mm -hmm. The light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, of God should shine unto them. And that's the prayer we are praying, that the light of the glorious gospel of Christ should shine upon the churches of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And the light of the glorious gospel Christ should shine. There have been many other lights that have been shining Amen. to the body of Christ. And that is not our light. Amen. The Bible Amen. says in Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1, Arise, for thy light is come. Amen. What is our light? Our light is the light of the glorious gospel of Christ. That is our light. Yeah. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The body of Christ will not shine. The body of Christ will not stand out as the light of the world, mm -hmm. except their light, which is the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, begin to shine on oh. them. Amen. Jesus said, ye are the light of the world. Yeah. Please, listen carefully before we pray. <laughs> before we become the light of the world, we must have learned our own light. Yes. It is Amen. only our light that will make us the light of the world. Yeah. We can use their light to reign over them. It is the light of the glorious gospel of Christ Amen. That, me, that will cause us to shine. So our prayers is that the light of the glorious gospel of Christ 
begin to shine in his body. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's go ahead. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. He says he is the priest of the Most High God. Mm. Balaam is so exalted, he says a man that sees the vision of God with an eyes open. Mm. 
Jesus. He is a priest of the Most High God. Whatsoever he says, God honor it. Mm. But in the case of the body of Christ that was migrating from Egypt to their promised land, God had to disappoint the token of Balaam. Amen. Because Balaam stood against the will of God. Mm. We are going to be praying against the oppressions of Balaam. Amen. There are oppressions of Balaam that is causing stunted growth to the body of Christ. Mm. There are oppressions of Balaam that is making the people of God to remain as dwarf, dwarf, mm. dwarf. Mm. They are not growing upward. Nakasha. We are going to be praying. Amen. Every man, every man that stands as Balaam mm. against mm. the will of God mm. for his body. Mm. We are going to be praying and say, Lord, the same way you disappointed the oppression of Balaam. Mm. In the time of the church in the mm. wilderness, mm. this is the church in reality. Mm. The church in the wilderness had an enemy called Balaam. Mm. Yes. Now, Balaam yes. is an order of priests that God has used mm. in previous generations. Mm. But when it comes to the generation of the children of Israel, God is operating in another grace. Mm. But Balaam stood against them the and God had to remove Balaam. Mm. I'm going to be praying every Balaamic oppression. Now listen carefully. In the book of Revelation, one of the doctrines, the doctrines of that the God. church we fight against, mm. there are three major doctrines in the book of Revelation Concerning the seven churches, mm. the doctrines of Jezebel, mm. yes, the doctrines of the Nicolaitans, mm. and the third one is the doctrines of Balaam. Mm. The Balaam that appeared in the church of the wilderness also appeared in this time church. Mm. We are going to be praying and say, Lord. Every oppressions of Balaam, mm. Mm. let them be brought down. Amen. Every oppressions of Balaam, bring them down. In the name of Jesus. Father, we come before you. Our body insects in the holy place, Lord. We come against every Balaamic oppression that is standing against the will of God. We call the pots that oppression. We call the oppression. This oppression, the sinning of Jesus, every Oh Place. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Uh, I still want us to stretch it further. The Balamic oppression is the gospel that dwells on materialism, gain. Mm. 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 The preaching that the gospel of Christ is gain, material gain. What did Balaam do to the children of Israel? After he collected gain from Balak, and God resisted him severally that he should not cause them, Balaam now gave Balak a wisdom. He told mm. them, he told Balak, bring beautiful women into the midst of the children of Israel. And immediately they brought in beautiful women because he knew that if the hedge is not breaking, the serpent will not bite. Mm. So he uses the people to break the hedge, then Satan strike. As they begin to lust after beautiful women, the Bible says God was angry against them. Mm. And in that particular day, 23,000 mm. was killed. Jesus Christ. Because of the counsel of Balaam. Mm. Now, there are many counsel of Balaam that is presently in the church. Yeah. Mm. Yes. The counsel that says, look at this. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 2, verse 14, but I have few things against thee because thou hast there them that hold the doctrines of Balaam. Mm. Revelation 2, 14, what is the doctrines of Balaam? Who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block mm. before the children of Israel to eat things that is sacrificed unto idol and to commit fornication? That is mm. the three major things that consist of the doctrines of Balaam. Number one, he taught the children of Israel what? Mm. He put a stumbling block before them and 
He taught them to eat things that are sacrificed unto idols and, mm. and to commit fornication. These three things. Now, the stumbling block is a key thing that is affecting people from seeing the light that is called Christ. It is a veil, a major veil. Then things sacrificed to idols. Presently, amongst us believers, we are no longer different from idol worshippers. It is an idol worshipper that we come and say, uh, idol, the reason why I worship you is for you to bless me. If you don't give me material blessing, I won't worship you again. That has been the focus of many believers. We are not against material worship. We are not against the blessings that is external, but we are saying men are now worshiping material things instead of God. Mm. It is called idolatry. Mm. We worship material things instead of the living God. Now, in the book of Jude, chapter 1, the Bible says something here, verse 11. Jude is a one-chapter Bible, a book. Jude, chapter 1, verse 11. Woe unto them, for they have gone the way of Cain, and ran greedily after the error of Balaam, for reward and perish in the gainsaying of Korah. Mm. I want us to pray against that oppression of Balaam. Yeah. All the stumbling block that is affecting believers from growing, from conforming, for conforming into the image of Christ, sacrifices unto idol, idolatry in the church. Mm -hmm. Then fornication in the church. What is fornication? When you bring another message to the people of God, you are causing them to fornicate. Mm. There is physical fornication in the church and there is spiritual fornication. That's right, sir. We are going to be praying against them and say, Lord, we judge the doctrines of Balaam in the body of Christ. Amen. This is the honor of the believer that we will execute the written judgment. Psalm 149. We have to execute the written judgment. What is the written judgment? Every doctrines of Balaam that is reigning in the body of Christ, we judge them. Yes. Yeah. Let every of those doctrine be judged. It will no longer prosper in the body of Christ. In the name of Jesus, let's go ahead and pray. Thank <laughs> you. 
want us to uh, see, we want to pray that the doctrines of Christ we begin to reign in the body of Christ. Amen. The doctrines of Christ. We want to pray that the doctrines of Christ will be executed in the body of Christ. Now, Amen. Second John chapter 1. Amen. Second John chapter 1. Second John chapter 1 verse 9 10 and 11. Second John chapter 1, verse 9. We want to execute the prayer of the legislation of the doctrines of Christ in the body of Christ. Second John chapter 1, verse 9. Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ. Please take note. The doctrine of Christ is the discipline of Christ. Had not God, had not God, he, he that abided in the doctrine of Christ, he that abided. There are two things. You need to have the doctrine. Then you need to abide in the doctrine. He says, he that abided in the doctrine of Christ, he had both the Father and the Son. Now verse, 11, verse 10. If there come any unto you and bring not these 